My uncle made this. What's up, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, and y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Texas Man. Check it in again. Music Mo. Hope y'all having a great week. Hope y'all have an even better weekend. I want to thank all my new subbers, thank all my OG heads, man, you know what I'm saying? It's been crazy hot out here in Texas, man, San Antonio, 105 with the heat index today, man. Pretty much everywhere, it's going to be hot. Shout out. Man, I don't need a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> a scorcher, bro, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into this unboxing, it's going to be quick, man. Uh, I got my skizzers already on hand. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe baby i got a scorch over here we about to get into let's do it pick these things up off of finish line i do not shop at finish line for all y'all that know me know i got a bone to pick with spin with spinach with finish line man um i've had some bad experience in store and online the only reason why i caught this kick this jordan was because i had to have them time went by they've had about three or four restocks I just had to have them, bro. I don't know what it is. Shout out to all the homies from San Antonio, man. Um, I missed that sneaker show they had. It was called um, Hype Fest or something like that. I just barely found out, man, like a day or two after it was over. I ain't been going on the gram that much. So, you know, you kind of get out the loop, man, and some of the stuff that goes on, man. But nobody invited me, nothing like that. But it's all good, baby. Ain't no, uh, ain't no love lost, man, you know. Um, hope everything was good out there. I know some of my fellow San Antonian you Ubers was out there doing their thing. Shout out to all of them. Open these things from the front. The way she likes it from the front. Go ahead and get this box out of here, bro. Because I ain't got no receipt in there anyways. Get that box out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, retail was $90. So y'all already know, this is a Jordan and it retails $90. If you've been keeping up with your J's like you're supposed to, whether you're copying or you're just reading to get that information, to, to do your homework, to continue to have that research, to have that knowledge, because knowledge is everything, baby. You know that these are Jordan Lowe's. So if these are Jordan 1 Lowe's, your colorway is white, black, and gem freaking red. Now those of you who have been watching my channel know that I got Lowe's in my collection. This is just another pair that I'm going to add to it. Get this um, return label out of here. Uh, I'm going to just show y'all like this. Super dope. Can y'all see that? There's no paper on the top, so you already know what that means. This is the display model, or somebody's been wearing them, tried them on. Whatever the case is, they weren't wrapped up. I haven't, this is the only pair I, I think I didn't see in hand. The brick, the black toe colorway. And for those of y'all who keep up with Jays, like I've been saying, the black toes, which are these, and the high satins are about to come out for the women uh, this weekend. In my eyes, I was like, man, I better go ahead and get these loads before all the, every single pair of black toes goes up. And this is my first time actually seeing these, like I said earlier, man. Hey, the leather is, is, is uh, pretty nice on it. Ain't got no smells to it. At least that for shoe done. But like I said, somebody done tried them on, I'm sure. Finish line is shady, bro. I don't know, man. Like, I don't like the way they do business. That's just personal opinion. I've had orders canceled that, that have been paid for for three, four days, almost a week. Orders still got canceled. I had a problem at the malls, at two different malls with, with employees at Finish Line. I don't know what it is for that store, man. Uh, I heard a lot of them got bought out by JD Sports. Hopefully things will be right. I know they started rearranging them and moving them doing the transition in, uh, in Houston first, as far as Texas goes. For those of y'all who do not know and that are unsure about the black toe, the black toe is an OG colorway in the high, of course. Original, original colorway. These are fire to me. A lot of people hate the lows. Um, I didn't get the UNC's. I tried one time, but I didn't really try hard on the, on the sneakers out when they dropped them. The, the UNC lows. I, I just, I didn't have to have them. I, just, I was going to see if I can get them. If I got them, I got them. If I didn't, I didn't. 
I really don't need no more blue kicks, as y'all know. Even though the UNC highs are coming out, is what they're calling those new ones that are coming out. It's like an obsidian blue and a UNC colorway. They're fire. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to pay resale on them if I don't get them. I kind of think I'm not going to get them. Just because my luck's kind of been going downhill ever since some Travis Scott thing. This OG colorway is, is super dope. Um, I'm not going to get too far into it. I don't know if y'all like these or not. I, I actually like all of them. I like the Royal Toes. I like the um, the green ones. I'm just gonna call them Celtic lows. The gold toes are dope too. I didn't cap. I didn't cop the gold toes because I got the gold toes high, and I only worn those one time. And in reality, they're hard. They're hard wear, man. It's hard to wear that that sneaker. And then you don't want them to get too creased. I know some people don't care about the crease, but Pat Nether looks terrible once it creases. These are dope, man. Uh, I'm gonna try these on. Most of my other lows that I have are true to size. A lot of people are saying that they're. They're running big. Um, like I said, I haven't had no problems. I got I got about four or five pairs of lows in my collection. Not any new stuff. These are the newest ones. I still might get the green ones even though I don't need them. They're fire to me. Hey, but write down in the comments below, man. Did y'all get any of the Jordan 1 lows? You know, I don't want to be like two, three years down the line be kicking myself, telling about, man, I should have copped them things when I had them. Because they're sitting like ducks, especially the bigger sizes. $90, though, boy, you could pick up two colorways for $180 plus tax, man, and... That's a little that's a little bit more, but it's almost like buying a pair of OG highs for 160 plus tax. I know some of the OG highs, the prices have been going up. Some of them are 190 uh, retail. Some of them are even like 200. I know like the special editions are they're higher. I want to say the last pair that I got like that was the Genus. I think the Genus was 190 retail, something like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like you could get two pairs, and it's a back to school thing, man. You ain't gotta have OG highs all the time, man. And me, everyone who knows me personally. I rock the mids, I rock the lows, and the highs, and the Jordan 1s, man. Woo! I just love Jordan 1s. Honestly, if I could, I'll wear Jordan 1s every single day of the week, man. Like, that's just me, man. Like, I love them things, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta have them. It's like a disease. Yeah, yeah. The other lows that I absolutely gotta have are gonna be the shatter backboard lows. I gotta have those. It's weird. Like I said, they already came out already. I don't remember the official date. Maybe it was like a, a under, underground low key type thing. But I know I see people flexing on Twitter. They got them. I'm gonna get them when I can. They're not even that much. I don't got the highs. I don't have the homes or the ways in the shatter backboard. So, and I like and I like lows, man. You know, I like wearing baggy pants every once in a while. I'm an old school dude, man. I don't just wear skinnies all the time or normal fit. I don't skate though. But that skate look is dope to me because I love SB. So those y'all who know me and know my channel know that I like SB. So lows are like right up my alley, man. If they only made lows, bro, for the next two years and they didn't make any highs, I'm good, bro. I still buy those. I ain't got to have everything but the ones that catch my eye. Like these, bro. To me, these are doper than the UNC's that just came out. Maybe, maybe, well, they're both OG colorways, but I mean, to me, these are just doper. Something with this red. Even though blue is my favorite color, these are dope. But it's got that, um, that Jordan, um, Wings logo on the back. Travis Scott had different. It had, I forgot. Yeah, it had the little Travis Scott logo on one side and the Jordan Wings logo on the other side, but these are dope, bro. Definitely dope. Um,. The court purple lows are coming out too, man. Those are real, real dope, bro. I don't, I don't got the highs. I had to have them when it first came out, and then I kind of didn't because then I started thinking I got two pairs of purple ones. And I'm like, man, I'm never gonna wear them, even though they're super fire. I, and the resale's not even bad. It's still not bad to this day, but I just don't gotta have them. But when the lows drop, if I can cop them, I'll probably get them. Just, just add my, just something different in my collection. You know, you don't want. Sometimes you don't feel like wearing high tops or, or lacing up the DS pair all the time, you know, it takes time, man, you just want to throw some on and go. And to be honest, man, I wear my mids a lot, man, because the mids are like the lows, they don't cost as much as the highs, so I feel like I could just throw them on real quick, and I don't even got to be careful in the mids, man, honestly, like, I don't care if they get creased, I don't really care, because I know I didn't spend as much money on them, you know what I mean, and there's so many mids that come out, I feel like if I really tear up those mids, I'm just get another pair, man, but hey, but I don't want to make this video too long, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like if you will, subscribe if you trill. Oh, and if I'm dirty anywhere on my clothes, man, I wore this to work, man. Um, I didn't go to the gym. Today is my off day. But, hey, y'all know what time it is. Holla at your man. Till next time, we out this thing.